actually owe this man. Anybody who cares about geothermal, we owe this man. Uh, uh, first of all, I'm not anti anybody, but I'm going to be speaking real pro Hawaiian. And that's my point of view. So, a little history. Uh, when geothermal was being first proposed on this island, it was in another community, not yours, but it was called Volcano Community Association that was up there in Volcano and Kahulea was being proposed. But at the same thing, like you're doing now, it's an argument between science and science. It was environmentalists that didn't have much money fighting against the developer that had a lot of money. So on the, in the court cases, it was who's a better expert, and that's how it was going. Well, a community that was doing all of this realized that they needed another component, maybe to give a little leverage in their lawsuit or a contested case that was going on. So they needed the Hawaiian component because it was all science against science, which you kind of heard all day today. Not one idea or one person talked about Paleo's traditions and the Hawaiian people. You had an ex-mayor that never brought it up. You got a senator that never brought it up. So you can see how far be behind in bringing the awareness to the public, even though we vote for these people as Hawaiians. We pay taxes in the state of Hawaii like everybody else. We don't get any exemptions. All we get is being ignored. And that's how it's been historically. How many people live in Hawaii understand the history about Hawaii? We all understand American history. Do we still believe that Captain Cook discovered these islands? <laughs> huh? Come on. So what about the Hawaiian people? And is, in doing that situation, Pele erupted, which the newspaper said, uh, the final witness speaks in this contested case, was the eruption of Puo. When that erupted in the middle of Campbell Estates, Kaolea property, the, the, the state immediately did a land swap. Then they came down in your neighborhood because it was a NARS area, a natural area reserve of 28,000 acres. Legislator made a sign of signature and swapped that lands to Campbell for industrial development after a NARS, which is a natural area reserve system, the highest status of land preservation the state has. How do you take that out overnight and turn it into an industrial area? That's what happened. Okay? And during that time, Puo erupting. They were drilling with our lawsuits, with our demonstrations, which over 400 people, historically the largest arrest in any demonstration in the state of Hawaii, was over geothermal in your neighborhood. And it was all the solidarity that they all shared together with the native people at that time. Harry Kim knew about Pele Defense Fund. Russell Ruderman knows about Pele Defense Fund. Do they think about where they're at today? What's the difference from 20 years ago when they knew about it until now? Was it an attitude adjustment or was it a money adjustment? Did they grow and understand? I don't hear it. Now as a Hawaiian, I'm saying, I don't have much voice in the community anymore. I don't have much voice in government anymore. The census show us at number four on population equal to Filipinos. How much voice do we have now in Hawaii? Yet we all call, call Hawaii our home. But as a Hawaiian in my home, my voice is nothing. It don't mean nothing no more. And as everybody knows that historically we are, it has been, and statistics show that we are being eliminated from this so-called islands by race. We're the fastest dying population in the state. We're the most incarcerated in the prisons today. State has done nothing to stop the social problems and situations of Native Hawaiians. All they have done is played with the institutions of Hawaiians that are heavily conditioned not to think traditional, but to be Western and use the Hawaiian as their card so that I cannot scream at a Hawaiian about racism. Because it's a Hawaiian. 
They stand back and pay our wine to stand in front of me so I can't use those words. And that's been going on for a long time. And that's been going on now. I sit here and be disappointed listening to our ex-mayor and our senator that knows all about the situation and never bring it up. That's the problem, is that we're supposed to keep planting seeds, whether it gets done or not. But the noise and the issue is out there. You all heard about it. Politicians don't want to talk about it. But they like the music. They like the food. But they don't like the people. Huh? Environmentalists, we got a lot of them. Hugging trees. Do they hug people? Why? We don't count? You're so busy saving all the rest of the, the natural things in Hawaii, but you don't save the people. You don't care about the people. You can exist in Hawaii without Hawaiians. And that's where we're headed, and that's where we're at. Now if I'm touching some nerves, I told you at the beginning, I'm not here to anti anybody. I'm talking pro me, which you don't hear every day. You don't see it on television. You don't even hear the Hawaiian mayor say it, or a Hawaiian governor say it when he was governor. The problems we have is our own people and the rest of our communities not supporting who we are as a Hawaiian. We came with this environment. It wasn't empty when you got here. And since Western contact, 400 species has been extinct. Not from us. And we're the next one being extinct. We, our race of people, our traditions and customs. I'm not talking about the assimilated Hawaiians. They use them. You see them all around. They sound like you. Are we supposed to sound like you in Hawaii? Does native birds supposed to change their song in their lifetime? Why are we changing our song? There is no extra Hawaii. There's no extra Hawaiians. Why isn't there any importance put upon that? Why aren't we important enough to be mentioned, mentioned all the time to government, part of the process? We can't even destine our own future as Hawaiian people in Hawaii. And the Hawaiian leaders we have, they're more Western and try to be and prove to the Westerns that they can be that way. But you know I'm telling the truth. If I wasn't telling the truth, then the statistics would have showed it. We got the highest crime rate. We got the fastest social diseases that's killing us. We're the first race of people off these islands, is Hawaiians. But we got the richest Hawaiians with all the trusts. Yeah. But what do they do? Let us fall to the cracks while they take care of themselves. That's been ongoing already. And now you got Hawaiians coming back to promote geothermal? Because you know that that was the opposition? And they talk about Pele as a gift? If Bibles was harder than wood, why not burn Bibles? Why? Is that a desecration? Will it change religion if we turn Buddha on his head? What, did I alter the theology of something sacred? What do you think drilling is in geothermal? Growing up with traditions, you cannot make Opala over there. But you can drill geothermal and change the whole concept. You can alter my theology of my beliefs. You won't look at what the impacts that'll do, but you'll run and study on bug real quick. Bugs and birds, air quality, water quality, what impacts them impacts me. What's important to them is important to me. I don't have an alternative as a Hawaiian. This is all I got left. If the people don't want to live in Hawaii with Hawaiians, then let it be. But you ain't going to say I didn't tell you or put a bug in your ear about what is right and what is wrong. And we have a right to be Hawaiians in Hawaii forever, to infinity. We don't have no place to go. Very emotional.
Alors, I'm not done. I had to swallow, swallow a little bit. We've learned to eat crap so long. And it starts to be part of our diet. Well, we don't care anymore about ourselves. There's no solidarity amongst Hawaiians. It's just jealousy and being competitive. And all the immigrants that live here, four generations now, five generations, what have you done for Hawaiians? You run in our government. You're part of the problem. You never came to Hawaii to be Hawaiians. You never came to Hawaii to help Hawaiians. All you immigrants today, Chinese, Filipino, Portuguese, Caucasian, whatever, you're not here for the Hawaiians. There's no proof of that. All we have is the social statistics to show what you have done destining my future for the last 200 years. And the statistics is shit. And I gotta live and love thy neighbor? Does thy neighbor love me? I didn't bring that book. I have my own religion based on nature, confined to an island. Understood it when I made my adjustments to live with my elements. Incorporate my elements into my religion, into my song, into my dance, into my art. Responsible to carry it for thousands of years, not to have it cut off in my lifetime. Never in our lifetime should we, we, we be with less than what we got now. We can't make the future with less. It's not a point that you call 911 for help. You know, we had a tourniquet situation when you needed statistics. When racism is running rapid in Hawaii, we got a force to live in a stir fry that we never created. And all we are in that is flavor, not the main component in this dish. Enough. Take time out. Read about our past. Understand why we got to make adjustments. You don't have to feel guilty. You just have to feel needed to do something. Hawaii never do nothing to you folks. And neither did the Hawaii people. We have a birthright to stay Hawaiians. We got a responsibility to stay Hawaiians. We got a right to be Hawaiians. Yeah. It's not our responsibility as Hawaiian people to be responsible for energy. If we're the number fourth population in this state, how am I being blamed? that I gotta come up with an energy problem solving situation that I never even occurred or did anything about that. You've stolen the land, all the resources. Now you reach and steal my soul. That's all I got left. And that's important that you're not gonna take that. And geothermal is the very thing that psychologically screws my belief up because our government don't believe I have the right to believe that way. I'm a vet, honorably three years during the Vietnam era. I went in 17 to get away from this old madness. Came out three years later, 21, and a sergeant when I got out. Not even 20, just turned 21 a month after I got out. I did an honorable thing for my country. Not to come home and find out that freedom of religion, I didn't count. How was that, man? 
fought for every other religion, but mine was never acknowledged. Our government don't acknowledge it. Our mayors don't acknowledge it. Our council people don't acknowledge it. Our senators don't acknowledge it. That I have a right to my religion, and I fought for it. I fought for everybody's religion. Now you think about it today. Our heyals, our temples of worship, you can buy one. Can I go buy a Catholic church? No. Then how do you get to own my church and dictate my religion, when I use it, how I use it? And that's how it is today. Dig up my ancestors and put a hotel there. It's okay. Where's that kind of dignity? I mean, where is it? Fighting for our so-called American beliefs. And all this mistreatment. Bad. I mean, you're lucky. And I say to myself, we don't have enough people to run around and create riots and bring concerns like you watch on television, on other countries screaming to government on treatment of their religion and their beliefs. We can't do that. It's supposed to be up and up. I'm not supposed to do that. They're supposed to take care. Not the way it is when statistics show I'm the most neglected race in this state. The richest to trust, but they don't care. It's not about trust, Hawaiians, and missions, statements that they were set up to do. It's about profit, money. And you can take the Hawaiian with it if he's for sale. Just want you all to understand that not all Hawaiians, not all Hawaiians sold out. Not all Hawaiians assimilated. They never asked me to join. They stuck it down my throat, whether I like it or not. There's a difference between false assimilation and willing to assimilate. We're not stupid. Like I say, every black child in America knows what racism is. But we don't learn that in our school. We don't teach that in our schools because it's rapid, running rapid for generations to government. I know I'll never have the opportunities as other people do. All I wanted to do was stay on wine in Hawaii. That's the only place that I can be one. I'd be a hard time pushing Hawaii in Pasadena. <laughs> but I think she was supposed to make it at home. So geothermal is something that religiously has to be respected. That should be number one on all priorities, on all organizations against geothermal. It ain't about good science and bad science, man. There's no good rate. Okay? You don't dress it up. And it is small scale rape by saying, yeah, I like small scale geothermal. Rape is rape. To my religion, that's what you're doing. And if you ain't taking the time to make a study, our government, on the impacts of what it's done, then you should know already. By taking my soul, we have become nothing less but only our statistics on the social problems of Native Hawaiians. That's because I have no place to turn to. Not a church that I can go and be myself. Where else? The alley? The parking lots? That's where they're picking us up. 6,000 prisoners are in America from Hawaii. 4,000 are Native Hawaiians. How come our misery became a commodity? Who said that? And that's how it is. I steal a $5,000 car, I'll go to jail for five years. At $40,000 a head per year, I'm worth $200,000 for a $5,000 car. Taxpayer gonna pay. 
But is there anything they're losing a statistic? Lower it down, nothing. Not a program, not a nothing. You just want a number that they can use to make $240 million for the public safety department in the state of Hawaii. Use the Hawaiian, he's a head count. Enough of that bullshit. Somebody's got to be responsible. And I hate to see our kids be pissed off because there's no place to turn to. They better wake up now because it ain't going to go away. You see the problems in America with racism. And you see it on television now, how everybody's arguing their point of view on it. It ain't going to go away. It can't fast on an island because it never had it. But if we're going to keep breeding it, it's going to catch up. So I'm against geothermal for my religious beliefs. That should be number one on all the priorities of everything before science. Now you take number two, the gas, the water. Yes, I drink water and I breathe air. It is a problem for me. But if it's good geothermal, if it's clean geothermal, if it's quiet geothermal, we're going to have it? Because I'm the only one who will get affected? Come on. Let's wise up. There is no such a thing as clean geothermal. Not, not five miles from a live volcano. Not five miles from Tutupele. You're going to tell me you're safe. If anything, we're on borrowed time. The earth ain't stopped yet. Mama ain't done making what she's supposed to do. All we're supposed to do was maintain. Not screw it up. Maintain. That's the Hawaiian word was. Malama, we live with loving what we do. We're in connection with nature. Everywhere we go, from motion to the mountain, we're talking. Who are we talking to? Our families understanding what spirituality is. That's who we're talking to. But when I say it to a developer, I get questioned. Who questions the Pope? Huh? I get questioned on my beliefs. Right. It's a psychological effect. And if you're going to take away all the resources, and all I have left is my soul, and you're going to tamper with that, then I don't know really our future, what's going to happen. We need that understanding of that component in me being one Hawaiian, respected, upheld, and understood my spirituality. Don't be afraid, man. If I had my rights back to my religion, would that be a threat to the United States? Well, I don't think so, man. I think you'd have more happy people letting me believe how I believe at home. Like every other belief, you're supposed to share it. I'm just saying, don't kill it. That's the only thing left. They attack the ocean, there's spirituality there. Don't give a damn. There's burial sites, spirituality there. Don't give a damn. To the forest, to the mountain, to Mauna Kea. What I say is sacred, don't mean nothing to them. Okay? It's got to mean something now. Everybody's got to carry some, some torch, some light, and keep enlightening everybody else. I mean, if this is home, then treat it right. Don't pick and choose. It came. Everything came when you came to you. That's the problems of the native people. That's the environment of the native people. That's how they're going to live socially in the future. Everybody's got to play in that. This ain't a continent, man. This is an island. It's only 300, 300 mile circle. Let's wise up. Thank you very much, man. Ladies and gentlemen, the truth.